everyone, I'm Fernanda Fella. And I'm Alex Till. In this episode, we'll show you how to deploy the vendor storage at the subscription level. I'm in the Azure portal, and from here, I'm going to go to Microsoft Defender for Cloud. From there, I'm going to hit the Environment Settings and select the subscription where I want to enable Defender for Storage. Once all of the Defender plans load, I'm going to see the storage one. And then if I hit Details, I'm going to see the list of all of the things that it has. And then from there, I can just click on, and that will give me a settings button. When I click in there, I can enable the components or add-ons as malware scanning and also the sensitive data discovery. For malware scanning, I can edit the configuration and I can set a limit of gigabytes of scan per month per storage account that is going to impact all of my storage accounts under that subscription. And after I do that, I hit apply and then continue. And then from there, save. Now let's see how to configure Defender for Storage using Azure Building Policy. So first of all, we need to search for the configure Microsoft Defender for Storage to be enabled. So I'm going to go into the Azure portal and search for policy. From here, I'm going to go into definitions. Then in the search bar, I'm going to search for configure Defender for Storage to be enabled. I'm going to click on it. And then from here, I can see all of the settings that it has, such as on upload malware scanning, and for example, I can even configure the cap of gigabytes per month per storage account. And here the default value is 5,000. I can modify it to a different value. I can also look at the sensitive data, threat detection, and other components. I'm going to assign a policy here. And in here, I'm going to select the scope where I want to implement it. I can do it at a tenant root group or I can select a subscription. From here, I can also do exclusions, such as I want to exclude a specific subscription or a specific resource group. Here, I'm gonna click next and I'm gonna uncheck the only show parameters that need input or view. Here, I can change the values for malware scanning enabled to true or false. I can also change the cap of gigabytes to be scanned per month. So for example, if I just want to have it unlimited, I can set it up to minus one. I can also define if I want to enable sensitive data threat detection to be enabled. And from here, I'm just gonna click next next and then review and create. It's important to know that applying this policy may take a few minutes to take effect. Now let's explore another method to enable Defender for Storage at the subscription level using REST API. So here I have the app Insomnia and I'm gonna create a new HTTP request and this is gonna be a put request I'm going to copy and paste the API that is in our documentation. And from here, I need to change the subscription ID value. And from here, I'm going to select JSON. I'm going to paste here the JSON that is in our documentation. And here we can notice that we can also change the cap of gigabytes per month per storage account. So here I'm changing it just to 100. You can also select if you want add-ons as sensitive data discovery to be enabled or not. From here, I can see that in authentication, I can put the bearer token that I can get through a PowerShell comment. So I'm gonna open here my terminal and I'm going to connect to my Azure account. From there, I'm going to hit the command get az access token. And here I'm going to get the token that I need 
to connect and do this API request. Once I have everything set up, I'm going to click send. The request is going to take a few seconds, but after that, I'm going to have the preview here that says that it was successfully enabled and I can test it out immediately. So right now I'm going to go into the Azure portal. I'm going to go into Microsoft Defender for Cloud and go into my environment settings. I'm going to select my subscription. And from here, I'm going to see that the Defender for Storage plan is now showing on. I can hit the settings and I can see the limit of gigabyte scan is 100, which is what we put in our request. Thank you so much for watching this episode and see you in the next one.